you pushing and you're pushing and you're pushing and you're pushing and you're doing everything right you're tired you're exhausted and ain't nothing happening yet that word is what you're waiting for yet It's no different because we've messed up, because you fell off the wagon, you've been on alcohol and drugs and you gave up on life or you dropped out or you've been to jail one time, two times, three times and you really want your dream to happen and you're putting in your work and nothing's happening yet. I promise you, if you keep pushing, if you keep giving me all your effort, it will happen. It must happen. It can't do anything but move. You can do anything but make progress. But I want you all to understand in saying that word that you all, you all have to stop getting caught up in movement as progress. For some of us, the action of making progress is progress. The, the push itself, the fight, you get up and swing and miss, that's progress. You get up and you run at, at what you want with everything you got and you miss, that's progress. The effort of making the attempt is progress. And so guess what? The goals and the dreams are in that mindset to do nothing. I'll get to it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. I'll do it the day after that. We're in a mindset of quitting. And if you want to make sure you become successful, it's not will you quit, it's will you stop preparing to quit. You got to give up on saying, look, I can do that tomorrow. Look, this is my time for rest. This is my time for break. There is no quit. Guess what? Dreams don't stop people do. And then you have the nerve to think or to ask yourself why you're not successful and you see it happen every day. On Monday morning somebody's gonna get up and they gonna hand in their resignation going to a new job. On Monday morning somebody's gonna get up lifting more than you. On Monday morning somebody's gonna get up running faster than you. On Monday morning somebody's gonna get up with their name higher than the draft than you. On Monday morning somebody's gonna be getting that scholarship that you could have got. Guess what? On Monday morning somebody's gonna get up riffling to take that test while you worry. Why? There's no difference between them and you. They're not faster, they're not smarter, they're not stronger, they're not better. They just don't quit. You give up. You give up. You believe that 24 hours, that 48 hours, you deserve to be off. You deserve to relax. Why you relax and always remember this though. It's somebody grinding. It's somebody pushing harder than you. It's somebody giving up more than you. Guess what? Until you get in that mental mindset that you will not prepare to quit, you will never succeed. Because if you prepare to quit, quitting is inevitable. I'm going to have the same amount of time, the same advantage, no excuse. They're not going to have an hour more than me. They're not going to have six hours extra than me. I'm going to grind just as long and I'm I'm gonna grind longer and I'm gonna prepare myself to be successful. Why? One reason. I don't quit. I don't prepare myself in the mindset to quit. And if you don't understand this right now, that you're gonna have to push harder, you're gonna have to fight longer, you're gonna have to give in with everything you got, you're gonna have to give up more, you're gonna have to not be lazy, you're gonna have to not listen to that old oh, you. You're gonna have to believe that this extra time I can use on the weekend or at the end of the day or at night when other people are sleeping or when everybody's at the family reunion, when other people are on vacation at the beach, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna make my dreams a reality. Nobody gonna stop me but me. That's the only person that can. Understand, if you want to make your dreams a reality, you gotta understand that you can't quit. Because you have a timeline for when you want your dream to become a reality, that don't mean your dream Listen to you, baby. I'm not coach right now. I'm your conscience. You're, you're in a fight between will and skill. I say will first because that's where you are. You locked and loaded with skill. You practicing every day, you putting in your work, you buying everything, you making the investment, you living your dream, you walking like your dream, you surrounding yourself around your dream, you got mentors, everything, you putting your work in, you got your skill, now it's a test of your will. It's a mindset thing you in right now, it's a mindset thing, because your challenge, 
Your challenge ain't moving. Your mountain is not moving. You don't feel like you're making any progress. You're not physically moving. When you see everything else around you and other people around you moving, you not making progress. You're in the test of your will right now because life says it has a little more test for you. You can look at your challenge with skill and it will see it just as that a challenge or you can look at your challenge with will and see it as much understand this and listen to me clearly you may forget this face you may forget this voice you may forget who told you forget your pads out don't ever forget these words that i'm about to tell you if you want to be great in this life you only have one choice gentlemen you only have one choice you can make choices that just get you remembered or you can make choices that ultimately make you a legend. If you put as much time into working on winning as you put into thinking about losing, you'd already be a champion. When we gonna get tired of just knowing and seeing successful people and become one of them? time is out to, to sit up here and just make these average decisions to be make these irrelevant decisions that don't change you don't change your family don't change society don't change your environment don't change the world it's time to make decisions that make you a legend we see it every day but the only difference baby you gonna make a choice to just be remembered or you gonna make a choice to become a legend you gotta stop quitting. We gotta stop giving up. All this TGIF, TGIF. It is now TGIA. Thank God I'm alive. We open our eyes and we're in our right mind. We live as though we really appreciate that opportunity. And every time I see a post, every time I see a tweet, or, or just anything, I wanna ask the person, why are you thanking God it's Friday? Hello, newsflash. Tomorrow is Saturday. The day after that is Sunday. The day after that is Monday. What are you thanking God is Friday for? Because you're preparing to quit. You're preparing to stop what you're doing. You're prepared to clock out. You're prepared to go home. And you're in the mental mindset to do nothing. I dare you to get prepared for the, the challenges of your life by, by getting rid of comfort. I dare you. I dare you that when you find that job, that, that if you don't have a ride for work that you want, and then when you get there, you take the stairs. I dare you not to check the brain, baby. I dare you to work through your lunch. I dare you that when it's hot, that you work faster. When it's cold, you work longer. I dare you to learn something new today that you didn't know yesterday. I dare you to. I dare you to run past that challenge. I dare you to face adversity. I dare you to look at it and say, look, I'm more than this right now. I can handle it. I dare you to look at your obstacles like a mountain. I dare you to stop running from it. I dare you to, to stop throwing away food because you scared you're going to eat it at night. I dare you to stop taking the detour because it's a crack house on the corner and it's a liquor store on the street. I dare you to stop running from your addiction. I dare you to stop running from the old you and become the man you know you can become. Mountains aren't going to move. You got to climb that bad boy, baby. You cannot get what you want in your life by being comfortable. Comfort is failing us. Many of you are denied your dream and your goal because you have a consistency versus an intensity problem. Consistency is when you do something. Intensity is how you do something. And that's why many of you, no matter what you do, no matter how much you do it, no matter who you're looking at, no matter what you read, you gonna be denied because you think that just being consistent at something is gonna let you win. That just that earns you the right to win. That I'm being denied that corner office. I'm, I'm being denied that car. I'm being denied this quality of life. I'm being denied that opportunity, this scholarship. I keep getting cut on, off the team. You know, I, if I just stay, if I just keep practicing, and I just stay around this team. Sooner or later, I'll make it. No, you won't. No, you won't, because consistency does not guarantee you the win. Many of you, as, as bad as you don't want to accept this, you're never going to win, because you're not intense enough. And until you get intense to the point 
that nothing, nothing will get in your way. That you will not get in your way. You'll never win.